In this video, I'll walk through how to do slit cuts or open contour cuts. It's actually a question I get a fair bit, and uh, looking back, I don't think I've done a video on how to do it. So, if you have something like this, and you want to cut these geometries here, so these are considered open contours, anything that's not connected, like the circles here, would be considered a uh, open contour. And if we want to cut those, we have to tell iGEMS when we're creating our part that we actually want to cut those, because normally things like dimension lines, things like this, it assumes that you don't want to cut. And if you have something like this where I've drawn this and this is right now two separate lines, you'll get a little bit better result if you join those together as one polyline. So now that I've selected those up here on my CAD tab, I can use the join command. And down here at the bottom, I'll do the zero as the default tolerance. And if I click on that now, then it selects both of those as one thing. So when it cuts that, it'll just do one pierce versus doing two pierces for each line segment. Okay, I've got that. Let's go and create a part. Click on create, drag a box around everything, hit enter. And in our preview, we don't see those lines that we want to cut. Those are considered other objects. That's where this button comes into play. So click on that and then you can just drag a box around everything to select anything that didn't get the last time. If there is something that you actually don't want to do as an open contour, you can just hold your shift key down and deselect it. But we'll go ahead and do that also. Hit enter, brings us back in here. We see our preview. Now we can add tool paths to those things. Down here you can choose what you want your default quality for those other object cuts to be, which of course you can change later if you need to. And we'll click on OK. So now we've got a part, we can add our slit cuts to this. So you can go up to your quick command here. And in here you've got the option of either doing slit cuts or contour cut. We'll do a, show you contour first. So if you want to go, say, halfway around this circle, choose that type of lead-in that you want to use, length of lead-in and lead-out, etc. And if you want to specify lead angles, you can check this box here, or if you just want to use the default lead angles that iGEMS will put on there, you can un uncheck that. Click on single, and then left-click where you want to start, left-click where you want to end, and then the direction of travel that you want to go to get between those two points. And if I want to go this way, I left click, and that would be a uh, contour cut. Versus if we do a slit cut, slit cut, you have this overcut option. So this is how far from the end of the line that's going to pierce. It'll pierce this distance away from the end of the cut, and then go to the end of the slit, and then reverse on itself and finish at the other end. So sometimes on abrasive cutting, you might want to do this with the lag of the stream. If you pierce and start to go, it'll take a fraction of a second, depending on the thickness of the material, for the stream to get through. So your slit cut won't be as long on the bottom as it is on the top. Or you can just set that to zero. If you check the dual cut box, it'll basically do the slit twice. So it'll pierce, go back and forth. If you choose multi, then iGEMS will determine the cut sequence for the slit cuts and which end of the slits that it pierces at. If you want more control over that, you can choose a single option, and then you can determine the sequence, and then whichever end of the line that you click closer to is where it's going to pierce. So I click here, it'll pierce at this end. So because I put the contour cut on the on this first, it's going to do that first, and then wrap it to here, and cut that slit. And if I want to come up here and do this, and click here, and so on. And if I do want to change my cut sequence, of course I can use my edit button, click somewhere on one of these tool paths, and if I want to do this last, I can move that down in the cut sequence. And if we actually want to do the outside as a full contour cut, we'll just delete that off, and we'll go to our contour command, and we'll set that to auto, we'll do multi. So now it'll do our quick cuts, and then two inside holes, and then the outside. So that's how you can use the quick cut to do slit cuts. If you have any questions on that, let me know. Thanks.